During interviews, most artists are asked about their inspirations and role models. So, who are my role models? Now, interestingly, and perhaps not unsurprisingly, my main role models are Icelandic female artists. Nina Tryggvadóttir is one of the big names in the art history of Iceland. Ironically, she and some of her female colleagues at the time, she became famous abroad before becoming respected in her home country. Now this is the never-ending story. And in my church, uh, Skálholt Cathedral, the altar is made by Nina. What I like about her works are the clean, simple forms and lines, but she was also a very renowned abstract artist. I was quite young when I first saw a painting by Luisa Matiasdóttir. And what fascinated me were her landscape paintings and the animals. And the effects of the Icelandic landscape and the old farming community. This is very much in line with my habitus, if you like. Karolina Laurusdóttir is another example. And particularly how visible the sea is in her works. The simplicity and the use of occasional pop-up colors catch my eye. I must confess, I'm not an expert in Icelandic 20th century art, so I'm not used to engage in some sort of academic or artistic discussions on the deep meaning of arts and artists or artworks. I just prefer to speak about this from my own perspective. Now there is one artist who is alive and well still today and I look very much up to her. Her name is Hekla Björk Guðmundsdóttir and for the past 25 years she has been one of my favorite artists alive and her signature style is evident in how she paints sheep, wild birds like Tjaldur and Loa and how she interprets the Icelandic nature absolutely breathtaking in my view. In addition, she has a whole line of design wear on her website, so I encourage you to pay her online store a visit. I will leave the link in the comment section. And my goal is to buy one of her paintings one day, and hopefully sooner rather than later. <laughs>